basically we're doing a little walk around. Stop from under the hood. Ain't did an update in a long time. Lights going. Of course, y'all know what I'm playing. Pause that. So of course, when the car starts up, and I put the King Mission ACC on, the radio cuts on, iPad links up. In the front, um, Mission Moto bulbs and um, HID houses, OEM. Everything is retrofitted underneath the USDM fog lights. LED, uh, all my all the bulbs are LED under the hood. Got a little janky ballast issue going on here. We fix that pretty soon. But I got the one, two, three, four, the big four, two watt rod and cable. My home and uh, we like set up. I got the little feet light at the bottom. The two by fours for a little experiment I plan on doing. I'm gonna uh, kind of make my amp rack float off of my box. Right here, of course, just an iPad. Pioneer radio behind. I got two EMF band hammers. Do it for home. Uh, my box is tuned at 3.9. My box is 3.9 cubic feet. Tuned to 33.9 hertz. Um, I got kicker CS or the top top of the line kicker. Um, three way six by nines in the back. Red deck. Up front. Unfortunately, I got Boss Phantoms. <laughs> they were a freebie. Freebie, freebie. Yeah. They were definitely uh, on the house. I like to have my bass knob right here. That way, when I'm riding, I can, you know, have it in my hand to control the bass. Or it just helps, you know, just to have it handy when I'm in the lane. These right here, this is a portable ashtray. I don't know why I have it. I vape now. I guess I use it as my uh, my ash, my little um, garbage can now. But these are my old jumpers. Of course, 100% copper. Of course, um, I use Eastwood Deadener. Let me give y'all a, a difference. Ouch. I even sounded the fuel door. That's the sound deadener right there. I know, a little overkill, but that was bored. In the back, more K Map from Eastwood. Team Brown Note. That's the little Chicago team we got going. Right here, I got an SMS 220 AGM, North Star, Ill Customs, six way um, distrib distribution block. It isn't made for the North Star, but I made it fit, and of course, it is definitely sturdy, safe. DD M2B, they are strapped, and I am running them at 0.8 ohms, final low, so each amp is seeing 0.4. This is some of that 8 gauge punch power cable from back in the day, old school, good stuff, OFC. Right here, Sky High Car Audio, 10 gauge. Um, right here, OFC, uh, four gauge, good old fashioned monster cable. No, one is monster cable, one is something else, but they're both OFC. Um, I got Tech Flex pretty much everywhere. Tech Flex running the box, anywhere where it bends. Right here is another distribution block. I use this basically for um, charging my batteries. I got the solar jigs right over here, and then my tender, I got a battery tender, and on my solar panel, I can hook up as well. Everything is fused, 
right here are jumpers for my pretty little cover that goes on the top for when I'm uh you know just out trying to you know just have a good time and I'm showing and I just want to keep the amps cool and pop the trunk and don't make it you know I want to make it look presentable so I got a nice cover and basically that powers up the fans up in here is the spray foam I did with um, the template and it is still very firm very solid seals the trunk off in the cabin that's a low-key trick on how to gain sound it in the trunk yep, team brown note and I avoid potholes I support breast cancer awareness and funding for research and for people that say I'm too loud, that's just too bad. Sorry for you. I try to be respectful though. And that's pretty much it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down and flip this around for a bass video right here. So demo time. The name of this song is called a long way instrumental decav. Folder 33, track number six, according to my file.